don't do nothing. All we'll take just cash. There's no way they can trace that to us. Look, this had to happen sooner or later, right? Murder? No. He could have called the cops. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Sure, getting caught. That's the way it goes. Now come on, get the safe. He never sleeps here. I don't understand. Wow. What a flash, huh? Funny old man. You couldn't do that to a woman, could you, huh? This is like no other job we've ever done, man. Those cops from Homicide will come in here, they'll push those safe and lock boys right out. You know, there's two ways they can search. From the body outwards in a spiral, or they can divide the room up into squares. That's the grid method. We bring the gloves, the knife is already here. Let's go. Don't do that here. Not this time, not with him. Hey, why don't you remember your extension cord, huh? <laughs> we don't leave real clues, Art. We leave dead ends. We're the dead end kids, remember? <laughs> huh? Remember? I picked this up. Come on! Murder. That's one for you, Kojak. Anybody knows how we'd investigate six scenarios at once? Oh, I thought you weren't going to talk at all tonight, Kaz. You don't investigate six scenarios at once. You take the most promising one and you concentrate on it until you hit a dead end. Or, you know, a good reason to dump it. And then uh, you uh, move on to the next most promising one, and so on. Exactly, exactly. Except in the event of a time bomb or a kidnapping with a child in jeopardy. Yeah, well, <laughs> that goes without saying, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, Kaz, the report comes back from the lab. Says that rash is poison ivy, go. Uh, where does all this happen? Where does all this take place? It takes place in uh, England, Oxford. Couldn't happen. I beg your pardon, sir. The man has a poison ivy rash and it couldn't happen, you say? Not in England. They don't have poison ivy in England, Lieutenant. Oh. No poison ivy, no poison sumac, no poison oak. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Yeah, Cass. Could you please tell me why it's necessary to uh, make me look bad in front of the class? Well, I don't know. I thought you were holding your own right up until the last minute. Yeah, but then you had to top me, right? Well, <laughs> uh, when you were a kid, did you always top your old man? I don't know. I, I didn't know my father. Oh. Hey, look, uh, when you graduate and you want to go to the police academy, I want you to know this. I'll be in back of you all the way. Hey. Hey, I got the grades. I don't need anybody's help, you know? I mean, it doesn't take much to be a cop, Kojak. Let's face it. You got a pretty easy gig for 20 grand a year, right? Huh? Sure. Hey, look, if you ever get 100 hours during the course of a week, why don't you come down to the station house and get a peek at your future easy gig? I know you better go home and study your crime stoppers. The 
the police have got about as much respect for the dead as a grave robber. They're trying to make a federal case out of absolutely nothing. What sort of case? They think that Art was pulling off some small jobs. Burglaries. Look, it's not impossible, Diane. I mean, uh, maybe he wasn't making it too big as a salesman. Yes, you killed him. I know, I know because of the ring. It's not the worst thing that happened in our lives, is it? We have always pulled through, haven't we? Diane, please. Please, <gasps> Diane. It is so far and away the worst thing that's ever happened in my entire life. He would have killed himself sooner or later. Drinking, doing something desperate on his own. He was not a strong man. What kind of father would he have been for the kid? A gentle father. Gentle? What is that? The man had no strength. He had no authority. He would have let that kid do anything. The kid would grow up, he'd be always broke. Who knows what he'd end up doing or feeling oh. inside? Oh, Chaos. Chaos. My God. I, I want you to talk to the lieutenant. No! What? what do you think I'm crazy? This guy wants to fry me. He is everything that I hate. I just have a feeling that, that he'd help you to see a doctor. And, and I'll explain to them all the things you've done, all the things you've been. You've, you've done so many good things for me. No, no, I'm warning you. Art would have talked. And then we both would have been caught. Now it's got to be better this way for you, oh. for the kid. Oh, Cass. Hush. I never should have started with Kojak. I don't know why I did that. Did what? See, I think that lousy cop in our background, it haunts me sometimes. Lousy cop, lousy father. <laughs> he knows it's me. I guess I wanted him to. Yes? It's Kazmaier, Kojak. Yeah, I just wanted you to know that I won't be taking my final exam tomorrow. And you won't be giving it either. Where are you, Kaz? I want to talk to you. Now shut up and listen, Kojak, because I'm calling the shots now. And I want to tell you that our final exam has already begun. And death is not a passing grade. Cares. You never know. Don't make me go out with a lie. Okay. Hey, look. Uh, I'll keep an eye on your sister for you. I promise. And that's the truth. <laughs>